Hi friends, in today's video, we are going to see an interesting topic regarding the scrap quantity functionality in Microsoft Dynamics 365 Finance and Operation, right? So this scrap quantity functionality is in transfer orders in inventory management. So we have seen multiple videos and uh, documents related to transfer orders. And uh, we have also posted a video regarding how to automatically receive the transfer orders. If you have not checked out the same, please check out the particular video, which will give you much better insights about the creating and processing the transfer orders. But in this video, we are going to see how to create transfer orders. And then in case of uh, multiple transfers, let's say I, I'll just use a whiteboard to explain you the process. Let's say if I'm going to transfer it from Varus 1 to Varus 2 uh, for a particular item, I'm creating a transfer order. And uh, in, in process of this transfer, let's say I'm doing a transfer for around 100 quantity. Maybe my font is a little weird. Please bear with me. So let's say I'm going to transfer 100 quantity from Varus 1 to Varus 2. But when I receive the material after shipping it, once I receive the material in Varus 2, I actually found out that out of this 100 quantity, I have 98 quantity which is actually received in good condition. But there are two quantities which are actually received in damaged condition, which I cannot, I will not be used those two quantity. Let's say I have received a electrical item, a brittle item, so I am not, I am not able to use those two quantities. Right. So in that case, I cannot take this two quantity into my barrows. I need to scrap this because I cannot send this back to W1. Right. So which is not uh, not a viable option for me. And also I will not be able to use it in my production or in my subsequent process. So I need to scrap this and adjust this inventory after posting the after receiving the transfer order. So this is what we are going to see how to do that in Microsoft Dynamics 365 Finance and Operation. If you are watching my video for the first time, my name is Shri Ram Sivashankaran and I have been posting documents, videos and articles related to Dynamics 365 on a regular basis. If you want to get regular updates, please do follow my profile. Right. So before creating the transfer order, first I am just checking the stock availability. Let's say um, I, have, I have already picked an item. So let's say this particular item, we have stock in Varos number 24. So first I will let me filter this particular item alone. I just want to check is there any other stra yeah no it's only available in uh, site 2 varus 24 and the physical inventory is 1000 and available physical is also 1000 right so i'm going to transfer this quantity from varus 24 to another varus so in order to do that first you need to navigate to inventory management uh, and then transfer order you need to click on transfer order then click on new and then now we are going to create a transfer order from varus 24 to varus 21 and then uh, you need to click on add line and here i'm going to add the item which i'm going to transfer let's say this is the item which i'm going to transfer i'm going to transfer let's say as we discussed i'm going to transfer 100 quantity so if i just want to check if there are any other dimension i need to give okay fine proceed i will just save this transfer order because i'm not checking into each and every detail of how to create a transfer order because I, we have already discussed this in detail in another video please uh, check that and uh, now we are going to ship this transfer order uh, so we are going to ship all the under, under quantity from our varus varus 24 i click on ok so this process will ship the transfer order from our look from our varus varus 24 right so varus from varus 24 we are going to ship it so this is shipped so I'm going back to the trans on and and I'll refresh the page. So once I refresh, I think a separate line has to be created. So here Varus 24 alone is filtered. That's the reason we are unable to view the other transaction line. So if you can see a one more transaction line for under quantity is created for Varus number 21, right? So that is this 27 is the transit Varus. So basically, the like you can check the transit varus and the varus master also so varus 27 is the transit varus so the material has moved out of varus 24 and it is currently in varus 27 but it is under the state of physical reserve and once we receive it the this physical reserve under quantity will move from varus 27 to varus 21 that is how the transaction works 
okay but while receiving this material i just noticed that after physical inspection of the material in my inbound dock i came to know that the two quantity which are actually scrap so that's what we have discussed in this whiteboard so two quantity is scrap and i don't want to include it in my stock so in that case you keep your receive quantity as it is as 100 but the scrap quantity here you can see t365 will post a separate inventory adjustment journal and scrap this particular quantity from the system so i put two quantity as scrap so that i want to invert 98 quantity and update it in my varos 21 and two quantity i want to remove it from the stock right so i update the two quantity over there under the field scrap quantity and then i click on okay so once i click on okay 98 quantity will be received in my varos varos 21 and two quantity will be scrapped right so the item is received now so the the transfer order status is also changed to received now for this particular line if we check the transactions so i'm clicking on transactions you can see that see 98 quantity is actually purchased and two quantity even though there is a transaction line which is created as purchased and uh, under the reference transfer order receive it is also a transaction which is created and sold saying that it has been scrapped so this is how the now the same item has been accounted as a scrap in inventory adjustment but of course it will be accounted as in your um, profit and loss account whatever the offset account is which has been tagged so based on which your loss will be accounted so since this has been scrapped this will be basically based on the posting profile with against which the item has been tagged and uh, also in the on and if you go and if you refresh the page so you will be able to see only 98 has been received in uh, varos 21 and uh, here also if i click on the transactions you will be able to see the minus 2 which has been scrapped using the scrap quantity functionality in dynamics 365 so this functionality will be highly helpful whenever you want to move the material from one varos to varos another varos and you find there are some transit damages and you want to account it and without including it in your stock then uh, you can use the functionality of scrap quantity in dynamics 365 transfer orders hope you enjoy the video wish to see you in another interesting topic in dynamics 365 finance and operation if you want to get regular updates please do follow my profile Thank you.